Hey, it's JC. Welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we explore the urban lifestyle and jungle survival. Previously, I did a video on this specific knife. This is the original Russian Tracker. That's right, it's a stolen design. And the stolen design, of course, is the Tom Brown Tracker. I do not want to get into that in this video. If you'd like to know more about that, do check out the link in the card above or the description below for the full story. But what I want to talk about is my new shift setup for the Tracker. Now, if you buy the original Tracker from Russin's son now, Mark Russin, you would get a package like this, right? It comes in a decent leather sheath, but it's this style system. You can carry it on your belt or you can carry it scout carry. Uh, I do not like either of these systems. Now I do belt carry, but I do not like to loop it around my belt. I prefer a clip. I definitely do not scout carry. Uh, that's because I carry a survival belt with my kits on the belt, so I won't have space for this. And personally, going into the jungle, I do not like to use leather sheets due to the moisture and how that's retained and transferred to the blade. So what I did was I got someone to help me out to make a Kydex sheath. And the one I got is right over here. Now, this is made by Marin Nice, uh, based out of Malaysia. So this is probably not something you can get unless you're in country and you can bring your knife and let them fit it and make it for you. Probably will be cost prohibitive for you to send your knife over from overseas, get it done and send it back. But it's probably one of the best quality Kydex sheaths I've seen in terms of the fit and finish and of course the quality of material. This is two millimeter Kydex and uh, it's really finished very well because he polishes the edges very well and I think even the design uh, is very good. So how he thinks about his design and approaches it and executes it is very good. So I highly recommend his sheaths. And you can see uh, he took my tracker knife, uh, which I sent to him, and he molded it around the knife and he put together the belt clip system for me. So really good. Now I could technically scout carry this because this clip can be rotated 90 degrees, but I don't do that. I vertical carry on my right. And this is just perfect fit. Hardly any rattle, it's not going to come out. And good deployment with the thumb ram, something I did specify. Uh, I do not like Kydex sheaths, which have a very small thumb ram, which makes it hard to take out. And I also wanted a drainage hole, which he uh, made one over here. It, very important when in the jungle. And basically everything else form fitted. So that's how I would house and carry the tracker, uh, but I'm not done yet because I'm going to add something on it. And what I'm going to add is a separate setup. Now, this was not made by Marin Knives. Uh, this is actually a different third-party products that I got, again, in Malaysia, so you won't be able to get this, but you could get someone to make something for you, especially if they're going to do a Kydex sheath for you. And this really is a sheath for a Mora Companion. But on top of that, I've added in a ferro rod holder as well. And that fits nicely there. And then this is actually a lighter holder. So different components are put together uh, to form this kit. And I've put some uh, ranger band or one ranger band over here just to kind of complete it. Now, this is not as complete as some of my other survival knife kits, but I didn't design this as a survival knife kit. I just wanted a carry system for the tracker. And the idea is the tracker is a very big, beefy knife. And in Rob Russell's original design, uh, while it is kind of a one-two option for a survival knife, he did highlight that it is to be paired with a smaller, thinner knife. And that's where something like the Mora Companion comes in. A much smaller knife, of course, much thinner, different grind of the Scandi, so it can do really, really fine work. Although this section of the tracker does do fine work, but if you're just thinking about general tasks and a smaller knife, then these two pair perfectly. So a system to carry both knives together was something I wanted to explore. So let me put that together and show you how it looks like. And here we have the completed knife setup. I used Chicago screws to attach this to the main sheath. And you notice that this attachment over here actually has a ramp. And that's actually a very good design because it ensures that the Mora Companion will come out of the sheath without banging into the main sheath. So small point, but great design. And because of how they're staggered, it's very easy to feel which knife you're going for 
on the belt. So very easy deployment for either. So I'm really happy with this setup because I think it looks good, highly functional. I've got my companion for the tracker. At the same time, I've got some bonuses with the ferro rod and the lighter. Now I will mention, of course, because these are aftermarket parts and they were not really custom designed for this tracker sheath, you can see it does come out a bit here. There's part that juts out here. Maybe in time, I will get Marin Knives to make me a custom set. He's definitely gonna make me uh, something for my parang in the near future. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this look at this setup for the Tracker knife. Uh, do let me know if you've got a similar setup or if you have a similar setup for another knife. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content in general, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.